Hello everyone, I'm Nazareth Fatima. Welcome to Live Law. The Supreme Court recently observed in a matter that adverse remarks should not be passed against public officials unless absolutely necessary. A bench of Justices Abhay S. Oak and Sanjay Karol observed, and I quote, Remarks by a court should at all times be governed by the principles of justice, fair play and restraint. Words employed should reflect sobriety, moderation and reserve. Let's look into the background of the case in which this observation was made. Shikha Trading Company filed a writ petition against the illegal sealing of its shop by the officers of the Department of Excise and Taxation Punjab. Allowing it, the High Court observed that Rishi Pal Singh, an officer of the state posted as Assistant Excise Taxation Commissioner, had filed an affidavit taking a false defence. Hence, it directed to initiate criminal proceedings against him with the registration of FIR. While the matter was taken in appeal, the Apex Court bench noted that this officer was neither made party to the dispute nor was he given an opportunity to show cause. Moreover, it was seen that nothing on record indicated that the officer held any animus against the writ petitioner before such adverse directions were passed against him. The court referred to earlier judgments, especially State of UP versus Mohammed Naim, and observed that remarks adverse in nature should not be passed in ordinary circumstances or unless absolutely necessary, which is further qualified by being necessary for proper adjudication of the case at hand. It added, and I quote, such remarks due to the great power vested in our robes have the ability to jeopardize and compromise independence of judges and made debtor officers and various personnel in carrying out their duty. It further flows therefrom that adverse remarks of serious nature upon the character or professional competence of a person should not be passed lightly. With regard to the issue of how the power to expand remarks may be exercised by the High Court, and Supreme Court, the court observed that great caution should be taken since it is an undefined power and it should be done only to remedy a blatant abuse of power, which has been made by passing comments that are likely to cause harm or prejudice. It said with regard to High Court that as the Supreme Court of Religion, it must be deemed to have power to see that courts below do not unjustly and without any lawful excuse take away the character of a party or of a witness or of a counsel before it. The court has observed that the role of High Court is also of a friend, philosopher and guide of judiciary subordinate to it. The strength of power is not displayed solely in cracking a whip on errors, mistakes or failures. The power should be so wielded as to have propensity to prevent and to ensure exclusion of repetition if committed once innocently or unwittingly. Pardon the error but not its repetition. This principle would apply equally for all services. Having noted this, the bench expunged the directions issued by the High Court in registration of criminal investigation against an officer, as they are against the settled principles of law and have a demoralizing effect on the well-meaning officers of the state. To read the judgment in detail, please visit the link given in the description box. That's all for now. We hope you like our content. If you do, please like and share our videos. Also, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Thank you for watching.